welcome to online lecture series in organic chemistry and we are discussing the molecular orbital theory for coordination compounds as per one of the postulate of molecular orbital theory applied to the coordination compounds after the formation of ligand group orbitals these ligand group orbitals try to combine with matching metal orbitals or vice versa the metal orbitals try to combine with matching ligand group orbitals and there is a formation of bonding and anti bonding molecular orbitals so each metal orbital combines with matching symmetry ligand orbital by lco principle to give one bonding and one anti bonding molecular orbital as an example here we are considering the overlapping between pz atomic orbital of metal ion combining with its matching ligand group orbital that is summation z and this is the pz orbital of metal ion it has two lobes positive sine wave function and negative sine wave function oriented along the z axis and its matching ligand group orbital is summation z where positive lobe and negative lobes these are oriented along the z axis so when these two orbitals combine with each other there are two possibilities one possibility is in phase combination where positive lobe overlap with positive lobe negative lobe overlap with negative lobe this is called as in phase combination which results in the formation of bonding molecular orbital for example when this positive lobe overlap with positive lobe and negative lobe overlap with negative lobe we get this type of bonding molecular orbital it is denoted by sigma z why sigma because overlapping takes place along the axis and along the z axis and therefore this is sigma z whereas when positive lobe of metal ion orbital try to overlap with negative lobe of ligand group orbital then that combination is out of phase combination or negative lobe of metal ion orbital try to overlap with positive lobe of the ligand group orbital that is also out of phase combination which results in the formation of anti bonding molecular orbital for example by out of phase combination we get this type of anti bonding molecular orbital here you can see the positive lobe of pz orbital that is t1u try to overlap with negative lobe of ligand group orbital this is out of phase combination whereas lobe with negative sine wave function of pz orbital that is t1u orbital try to overlap with the positive lobe of ligand group orbital so this is also out of phase combination as overlapping is uh, taking place along the z axis this is sigma z but this is anti bonding orbital therefore sigma star z so so fruitful overlapping is not there and therefore this is sigma star z and this is the anti bonding molecular orbital so in this way pz orbital when combines with summation z there is a formation of one bonding molecular orbital that is sigma z and one anti bonding molecular orbital that is sigma star z bonding orbital formed by in phase combination with fruitful overlapping and out of phase combination takes place uh, or out of phase combination results in the formation of anti bonding orbital where fruitful overlapping is not there or successful overlapping is not there so this can be represented with the help of energy diagram like this you know energy increases from bottom to top so this is the energy of pz orbital contributed by metal ion and here is the energy of summation z 
which is the ligand group orbital. So in phase combination between these two orbitals results in the formation of bonding orbital that is psi and out of phase combination results in the formation of antibonding orbital that is psi star. So one bonding and one antibonding molecular orbital. So in same manner <coughs> other orbitals such as A1G orbital of metal ion try to combine with summation A that is its matching ligand group orbital and there is a formation of one bonding and one antibonding orbital. Similarly DZ square orbital contributed by metal ion try to combine with summation Z square ligand group orbital and there is a formation of one bonding and antibonding orbital. Similarly, DZ X square minus Y square orbital of metal ion try to combine with summation X square minus Y square to form one bonding and antibonding orbital. And PX orbital also combine with summation X to form one bonding and antibonding orbital. Similarly, PY orbital combine with summation Y to form one bonding and antibonding molecular orbitals. So this is one representative combination we have discussed here. Same is applicable for other metal orbitals and their matching ligand group orbitals. Now after this, we are going to discuss the construction of molecular orbital diagram for an ML6 complex that is octahedral complex considering sigma bonding only. Now in this molecular orbital diagram the energy increases from bottom to top and to the left side of the diagram metal orbitals are considered so metal contributes metal ion contributes five 3d orbitals that is d x square minus y square d z square these are the eg orbitals then d x y d y z and d z x these are the T2G orbitals. But here for sigma bond only e, EG orbitals are suitable and not T2G orbitals. Metal ion also contributes 4S atomic orbital. Its symmetry symbol is A1G. It also contributes T1U orbitals. There are three T1U orbitals, triple A degenerate okay and t1 orbitals are px py and pz so energy increases in this sequence energy of 3d orbital is lowest then 4s then 4p so you know mm, this is as per hans rule of maximum multiplicity oh, sorry not hans rule it's it's according to the above principle as per above principle the energy of 3d orbital so this is the sequence for energy of orbitals 3d 4s and 4p okay now this is the position of ligand group orbitals there are six ligand group orbitals summation a summation x summation y summation z summation z square and summation x square minus y square and they have equal energy they, these orbitals are degenerate there all the orbitals have same energy because the gains are same maybe fluoride cyanide etc then at the center molecular orbitals of ml6 complex are represented now already we discussed the in phase combination between a1g orbital with summation a 
results in the formation of bonding molecular orbital that is sigma s or a1g out of phase combination between a1g and summation a results in the formation of antibonding orbital that is sigma star s or a1g star one bonding and one antibonding orbital similarly in phase combination between t1u orbitals that is px py and pz with summation x summation y and summation z respectively results in the formation of three bonding orbitals that is sigma x sigma y and sigma z which have same energy these are the t1u molecular orbitals and out of phase combination results in the formation of sigma star x sigma star y sigma star z similarly in phase combination between eg orbitals that is d z square and dx square minus y square with summation z square and summation x square minus y square respectively results in the formation of sigma x square minus y square and sigma z square orbitals and out of phase combination results in the formation of sigma star x square minus y square and sigma star z square orbitals whereas t1u orbitals that is dxy dyz and dzx these orbitals not involved in combination process because these three orbitals have no matching ligand group orbitals and they, therefore these are not involved in combination process or overlapping process these orbitals remains as it is okay the energy difference between t2g and eg star this is this is delta o o stands for octahedral okay now some of the highlighting points are highlighting points of this mo diagram are the overlap of 4s orbital and 4p orbitals 4s orbital and 4p orbitals of the metal ion with corresponding ligand group orbital it is better than the better than that of 3d orbitals these 3d orbitals and therefore a1g and t1u molecular orbitals that is sigma s sigma x sigma y and sigma z a1g and t1u molecular orbitals have lower energy at the same time corresponding a1g star and t1u star antibonding molecular orbitals have highest energy this is because of successful overlapping then t2g orbitals of metal are not suitable for formation of sigma bond already i told you they are considered as non bonding orbitals the six sigma bonding orbitals that is a1g t1u and eg these are closer to the ligand group orbitals hence electrons occupying these orbitals these are considered as the ligand electrons similarly electrons occupying the antibonding molecular orbitals these are considered as predominantly these are considered as metal electrons and electrons present in non bonding orbital that is t2g orbitals these are purely metal electrons when electrons present in t2g orbitals these are purely metal electrons electrons present in anti bonding orbitals these are predominantly metal electrons and electrons present in bonding orbitals these are predominantly the ligand electrons and last important thing is the energy gap between t2g and eg star it is denoted by delta o its value depends upon the interaction between metal and ligand orbitals greater the interaction or overlapping higher will be the value of delta o this is also very important and this is the molecular orbital diagram for ml6 complex